Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dan selamat sejahtera. How is your day? Salam PKP satu Malaysia, satu Johor Bahru, MSM Johor Bahru number 1. So today we want to learn about uh, mathematics form 2 symmetry. Okay. So our motto is mesti ingat luaskan kuasa matematikmu. Alright. Okay, let's begin. Okay, in symmetry, we have three subtopics which cover the first line of symmetry, second, rotational symmetry, and third, symmetry of spatial in 2D shapes. For this video, we want to cover rotational symmetry. Let's enjoy! Okay, right now, we have a learning objectives, which is the first one. The first one is to identify what is the rotational symmetry of the shape and second one to identify the order of rotational symmetry of the shape or object. So let's begin with by definition. So what is this rotational symmetry? So rotational symmetry is when an object is rotated around a center point or turned a number of degrees and the object appear the same. Okay, rotational symmetry ni ada objek, ada pusat, eh, center point dia tu. Bila kita rotate certain degree, kita akan dapat dia punya image sama dengan original objek. Itu maksud dia. Okay, the second, the order of symmetry is the number of positions the object looks the same in 360 degree rotation. Okay, manakala kalau order pula dalam 360 darjah kita pusingkan, complete dalam certain degree, uh, dalam dalam 360 darjah tu berapa kali kita jumpa uh, image dia sama dengan original. Okay, take a look example 1. We use rectangle as our example. So when we want to rotate the object, the first one, the, the, the first thing is you need to know there has a center point or center of object. So in 360, how many we can see the image appear as original? Okay, take a look at the simulation. So, in 360 degree rotation of the object, how many do you see the image is appear as same as the shape of rectangle? Okay, look at example 2. Let's observe. Okay, we use oval as our shape. So, the first one is rotation is not rotated yet. So, the rotation is 0 degree. So, the order is 0. Okay. Now, we rotate it about 90 degree. Okay, tak sepertinya kita rotate 90 darjah, tapi sekarang ni kita guna 90 darjah dulu. Okay, as we can see that the image uh, appear but not same as the original object. So, order equal to 0. We rotate it again. Okay, we have rotating about 180 degree. Okay, so the image is appear as the original object now the order becomes one okay jadi satu kali utama satu kali order lah so we rotate it again okay we have rotated about 270 degree but the image is not appear as uh, original one original uh, oval so the order is still one okay we have completed 360 degree rotation. Now we can see the image uh, appear two times right now, right? So the order it becomes two. Okay, we have the square for our example. Okay, we have rotation. Okay, we have total rotation and order. Okay, bear in mind that uh, it's need, it is not unnecessarily we rotate it about 90 degree. Okay, as long as you rotate it in certain degree, for example 60 degree, and the, it is appear image as the same as the object, we can uh, mark it as a order one, two, and so on. 
Okay, now we look at the square. So I want to use 90 degree rotate, rotation. So what happened? Okay, so the image appear the same as the original. So total rotation now is 90 degree and order is 1. Alright, so we... Okay, we have the square. Okay, uh, just now we have order 1. So we rotate about 90 degree. Okay, look at it and the total rotation now become 180 degrees so as we can see that the image appear as the original object so now order becomes two okay now we have order two okay dah dua kali kita jumpa jadi kita rotate lagi sebab dia belum habis sampai 36 belajar kan so we want to rotation about 90 degree again so, as we can see that the image appear as the same as the square. So, total rotation dia 270 darjah. Jadi, order dia becomes 3. Okay, so, we want to rotate about 90 degree. And we can see that the image appear the same as the original object square. Now, we have 360 degree. So, the order now become for So, what the conclusion that we have? Okay, the first one, oval has the rotational symmetry of order 2. While the square has the rotational symmetry of order 4. Okay, look at other example shape. Okay, the first one is a collateral triangle. Okay, so the image of a collateral triangle start to appear as original shape when we rotate about 120 degree. Hence, it has rotational symmetry of order 3. Maknanya kalau kita pusingkan segitiga sama sisi ni, 60 raja, 60 raja, uh, sorry, 120 raja, 120 raja, 120 raja, sampai 360 raja. Kita akan jumpa tiga kali image yang sama dengan original. Manakala, the image of circle appear as original shape whenever we start rotating. Okay, maksudnya, walaupun kita pusingkan tak, uh, satu raja, ataupun mungkin kurang lagi, kosong pun satu raja. Ataupun kurang lagi sampai, mungkin kita pusing sedikit, kosong pun kosong, 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 satu raja. Kita pusingkan, sikit pun, dia dah appear as original object. That's why the circle has rotational symmetry of order infinity. Okay, other examples that we can see that is alright, the image of regular pentagon start to appear as original shape when we rotate about 72 degree. Hence, it has rotational symmetry of order 5. Okay, next one is the image of regular hexagon start to appear as original shape when we rotate about 60 degree. Hence, it has rotational symmetry of order 6. Maksudnya, kalau pentagon ni, kita pusing 72 darjah, dapat satu. Pusing lagi, pusing, 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 sampai dapat 360 darjah, dia dah jadi 5 kali. So, dia jadi order 5. Macam tu juga dengan hexagon, jadi order 6. Okay, thank you very much for watching and listening. Stay at home, stay safe and sound. Do not forget to hit subscribe button and notification bell. Follow my IG as Zach Helmi. Thank you.